Nobody greater, nobody greater than you 
It's all about you, Lord, help me cross the road 
you tell me if you walk by faith, you tell me not walk by sight. But me not gonna move until you give me the green light. Me see I base to the left, me see broad road to the right. But me I take the narrow road because it say it's right. Two hills and two valleys, junctions and alleys, trying to find my way. Good morning. The lesson will be taken from Ecclesiastic chapter 3 and verse 1 to 8. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which was planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sue, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. This is that this is the end of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. And I'm going to say it. So. In everything that I will give thanks, but me are pressed on the gas and me not get no response. I run from pubes and me go a long distance. No money, me not my pocket, not even six pounds. Can't take me silence, send me some evidence. Me move that really like to move never not a patience. Dirty, I'm important. I'm confident cause maybe this delay me from an accident and the second lesson now by Marjorie Melville. Yes, good morning to everyone again. Our second lesson will be taken from Job chapter 14, 1 to 8. Man who is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and fades away. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. And do you open your eyes on such a one? And bring me to judgment with yourself. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Oh no, no one. Since this day are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limit so that he cannot pass. Look away from him that he may rest. Till like hired men he finish his day. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, but it is cut in, and that its sense truth will not see. Eighth and last, though its root may grow old in the earth, and its dumps may die in the ground. Here and at the reading of the verse. Amen, amen. Remember, we are asking you to respond by saying amen. 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 Sharin, all daughter-in-law will now give us a tip. Good morning, loved ones. This morning, I am here as a daughter-in-law. I stand to tell you that my mother-in-law was the best mother-in-law you can ever find. I have been in Melrose for the past 23 years. And believe you me, teeth and tongue have never made between me and she. 
she was a mother that is a loving she cared for me so much you know there are times when wife and husband will have their differences but my mother-in-law never take up for her son and push pull me push me away she prefer cause her, she prefer tell her son say let me tell you really know and then in the evening now you will see she cook and take it at the the, 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 the wall and say where is Everton? yeah she bring food to him and she make it up with him but she she she, she have me cling to her and she cling to me and as a mother-in-law today i want to tell you aunt evelyn i miss you aunt evelyn i miss you and if i should choose again hallelujah I will choose her as my mother-in-law. God bless you. May your soul rest in peace, Aunt Evelyn. I love you until you're dead. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Shereen. The most important part of a Thanksgiving service is always the Word of God. The Word of God is also called the Word of Life, meaning without the Word, you have no life. Without acceptance of that Word, you cannot make it into His kingdom. And so Christ has prepared our hearts for a word from his servant. Pastor Zachary Edley is the assistant pastor of the Mandeville Seventh-day Adventist Church, and he will be bringing the word of God to our hearts. So I pray that you will just be attentive and hear the word the Lord has placed on his heart. But before we start, we're going to ask Everton, Everton Old, son, just to sing the song and then we'll hear from our pastor. With my head bowed low in the darkness as black as can be, in my heart felt alone, and I cry, Oh Lord, don't hide your face from me. So hold my hand all the way, every hour, every day, from here to the great unknown. Take my hand and let me stand where no one stand alone like a king I may live in a palace so tall with greater riches to call my own and I don't know a thing in this old wide world that's worse than being alone so hold my hand all the way every hour every day from here to the grass Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In three minutes or less, I just want to share with us from Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 13. The Bible says that when we seek God with all our hearts, we will find Him. But we live in a world where our priorities sometimes are, are messed up. We want the power we want the wealth we want the fame and the the, 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 the 
pleasures of this life and, and God gets what's he? But today as I reflect on the life of Sister Nemhart, I am convinced and it is self-evident that her life was one that sought God. That she lived her life in a way that she set had God as her number one priority in life. And I believe because of that, she could declare that it is well with her soul. But how about us today who are alive and well? We have an opportunity, we have the privilege and the gift of life to seek God today. But at times we are so distracted by the, the things of this life. But may I suggest to you that there is nothing in life that brings more satisfaction than Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Because Jesus can bring peace. Jesus can bring prosperity. Jesus can bring so many things into our life if we would just seek him and put him first. So today, my encouragement to us today is we have an opportunity to seek God, to put him first and foremost in, the, in, in our lives. So let us not waste this opportunity. It's, it's a gift. And just like my, my lost driver's license, it, 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 sometimes we think that salvation is so complicated when it's right before us and available. Salvation is present. Salvation is here. Why not seize the opportunity? And then why not serve the world to the best of your abilities. Mahatma Gandhi says that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. So today, my encouragement is to let us lose ourselves in service to God. Lose ourselves in kindness to one another. Lose ourselves in compassion and care for our fellow man. Lose ourselves and put Jesus Amen. first and foremost in our life. May God bless us, may God keep us, and may through his Holy Spirit use us to be shining lights, to be shining examples, to be contributing members of society like Sister Nemhard was. And let, when it is our time to say goodbye to this world, may we be able to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Zachary. We continue with the program the tribute by Donna and company and after that we will now hear from Corrine Broadbird the eulogy so Donna and company will share their tribute good afternoon it's just Donna okay, um, I am not a singer but God rest is on my heart to sing I remember mama go listen to my voice and anybody who can turn in and help me God I remember the morning, um, one morning, the same morning my mama died, when they called me. I said, God, show me a sign. And before I, that was the third morning. And I, I, had my, I have my daily bread that I read. And the theme of the daily bread that day was remember and celebrate. And this is what I want to do for my mom. I don't want, I mean, we have to cry, but I don't want to keep crying. But just help me sing this song because I just want to remember and celebrate it. I have to get my coffee. I remember Mama and the love that she gave. Even by her bedside, I could still hear Mama say, The people are depending on you. Don't you let them down. And I remember Mama in a happy way. We went to school with holes in our shoes. We were barefooted too. We didn't have much, but the Lord saw us through. And Mama kept the family together. Together, yes, we did. I remember, remember Mama in a happy way. My Mama is 
sleeping in the bosom of Jesus Christ. Oh, she's gone, she's dead in our hearts. We're gonna put together and stay in the holy way. And I remember Mama in a happy way. I remember you, Mama. I remember Mama in a happy way. And I remember Mama in a happy way. And I remember Mama in a happy way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna. Um, the eulogy now will be done by Karen Blackburn. I join in what my sister said that this afternoon we have to celebrate. We're not here in sorrow. The book of Revelation states that, makes us understand that there is no sorrow in death. Thank you all for coming out to share and help us celebrate the life of our dear mother, aunt, grandma, great grandma, neighbor, and friend. I stand with pride, boldness, and strength present the eulogy and remember the life of Evelyn May Paul Nemhard. On behalf of the immediate family and friends, I am first expressing gratitude to God Almighty for 86 years of life embedded with faith, endurance, and determination. Amen. The book of Proverbs epitomizes the life of Evelyn May, a virtuous woman whose price was far above rubies. Strength and honor were her clothing. She feared God, she worked with her hands, and she brought food to her household. With strength in her arms, she worked those fields, washed those clothes to feed us. This mama of a woman, serious, yet hilarious, ambitious, kind, industrious, was born to parents Arnold and Anita Affleck in 1934 in Manchester. She spent most of her young years with the late Miss Gwen in Kingston. She was a fourth of eight children. Evelyn was the last sibling alive, and was so for the past seven years. This is a momentous occasion because her death signals the end of a generation. Evelyn was a disciplinarian. She did not spare the rod. She trained us up in the way that we should go. And she always tells us that we should never depart from it. I gave her 100% for this. A fervent prayer warrior, a devoted Christian. She had 11 children, five boys and six girls, four of which predeceased her. She wanted the best for all her children. Though she was humble, we didn't have much. It was against this background that she taught us Proverbs 5, verse 6. In all our ways, we must acknowledge God and He will direct our path. Evelyn was a strong believer in education. In fact, she was known as a trendsetter because her kids were the only kids that went to school on Fridays. True, true. We had to go to school. Holes are not in our shoes. Lunch are not in our bags. Even if it takes us to walk home and drink the cornmeal porridge without any milk. She was clean and she took pride in her humble state of living. 
I remember her telling me that you gotta clean, you gotta shine that floor with a coconut brush and red oak until you can see your face in it. She's been through the storm. She's been through phases of ups and downs, myriads of life challenges, but she remained focused, anchored in spite of the storm, through many raging waters, and yet she did not drown. Death has no sorrow. She lives to celebrate her memory and carry on her principles and values. Seven children, Donna, Madge, Errol, Basil, Dennis, Miles, and myself. 31 grandchildren, 29 great-grandchildren. What a legacy. And six great-great-grandchildren. Dear Aunt Judy, her niece, dear friend and daughter-in-law, Sherin Hall, and a host of other relatives and friends. Aunt Evelyn, you may be gone, but you are not forgotten. You rest in our heart. I must say that we all, as children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren, we rise today and we call her blessed. Like you live by faith without no alarm, so we will continue to live by faith without having any alarm. Amen. My dear mother, may your soul rest peacefully and may you rise triumphantly in glory. My mother, I didn't experience much of this, but from the older siblings, they would say, she always tells them to cover their head and sing the song. There is a green hill far away without a city wall where the dear Lord was crucified. He died to save us all. Thank you. Amen. Amen, everyone. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karine. We're going to ask the Paul Bearers to get in position now. The Paul Bearers to get in position quickly. Um, we are going to now be having the committal as we move forward. Paul Bearers, let's get in position quickly. Pablo! I'm just going to ask you while they come and get in, get in their position to bow your heads with me now as we have a special prayer for the family at this time. Right. So just bow your heads with me. Father in heaven, we pray that you will comfort every member of this bereaving family. Truly they have lost the matrix, one who had taught them the principles of life, to honor God first and put him in everything that they do. And we pray that this legacy that she has left will continually guide them in their decisions and make them stand out amongst their friends, their peers, that they are children of the Most High God. May they have this hope that she had, and may they continue to remember fond memories of her and forever establish themselves in the faith so that nothing will move them. For those who have not accepted you, we pray, God, that you will be near them and draw them to you, that they too will have the blessed assurance. Now we commit all into your hand and thank you for hearing, in Jesus' name. All right, we're going to be now asking you just to sing one stanza, one stanza of the song when we all get to heaven. And as you sing that one stanza of the song, we're going to ask you just to hold a moment for the prayer, then we move into the committal service. Right? So let us sing together just one stanza. Sing the one just love of Jesus. After three, we will sing one stanza. Sing the one just love. One, two, three. Sing the one just love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, all the day of rejoicing that will be. Just one moment. One moment. What a day. When we all see Jesus. We sing and shout. Just pause one moment now for prayer, please. Just pause. Heavenly Father, we pray now that you will grant us your comfort, grant us your peace, 
And I pray that we all will be found on that day to greet you when you come to take us home. For we ask in Jesus' name. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall not die. Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of hell and death. For as much as God in his infinite love and wisdom has permitted our dear sister to fall asleep in Christ, we do tenderly commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of a joyful resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who had his glorious appearing shall change our body that it may be like his. Amen. And amen. Let us continue singing the second stanza. Let us sing the second stanza. While we walk the pilgrim pathway. Let us sing. While we walk the pilgrim pathway. Pathway. Let's place that song, everyone. While we walk the pilgrim pathway. While we walk. Clouds will overspread the sky. No, no one is doing the pilgrim. But when traveling days are over, we not a shot and not a sign. When we all get to heaven. Get to heaven. The glory. Onward to the price. <laughs> And time shall be no more. Oh, when the trumpet of the Lord. The of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. When the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. Then when all the gather to the home beyond the sea. And the roll is fall up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is call up yonder. When the road is called up, when the road 
is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dark descent. Let us tell of yeah. When the chosen ones will gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up on the work and hurt is done, and the road is all of yonder I'll be there. Oh, when the road oh, yes. is all of yonder, when the road oh, when the road is all of yonder, when the road is all of yonder I'll be there. Oh, 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 oh,
of the midnight crowd. The cry with the When Jesus stepped out on the clouds of Let me pray for the benediction. Let me pray, Father. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 o